Hey everybody, Neil Malik with Mac Training here, bringing you another Everyday Office video. And in today's video, I want to expand on yesterday's video about connecting Outlook to OneNote. If you didn't see yesterday's video, go ahead and click the link up above now. Now let's move forward. The basic concept from yesterday's video was that everything from Outlook automatically dropped itself into either the Inbox tab, the Calendar tab, or the Contacts tab depending on whether it was an email, a meeting, or a contact. Now, what's interesting is, of course, you have these emails coming in from people like Eric, and then under contacts, we have Eric as a contact. And it seems perfectly reasonable that I would want to be able to go to this email from Eric and connect it to Eric's contact information so that if I want to see more about Eric, I can expand upon that. Or if I have a meeting and Eric is going to be at that meeting, I need to be able to then say, hey, okay, so what do I know about this person, Eric? And I need to be able to link back to that. Now you can use standard hyperlinks in uh, OneNote, but I find that they take a little while. So for instance here, if I said uh, this was from, and I wanted to say it was from Eric Goodwin, right? I could highlight the text Eric Goodwin. I could use the insert tab at the top of my screen and choose link and then tell it that I need to go to someplace in my Outlook supplement notebook within contacts and find Eric Goodwin's page. That's fine, there's not anything necessarily wrong with doing that. However, there is probably a faster way if I get good with this. <clears throat> so notice here if I click OK, now here's an, a link to Eric's page and I can click on it and I can see Eric's information. In the same way if I go to my calendar and I say that this is, uh, you know, attendees, and I say that Eric Goodwin is one of the people who's going to be there. Again, I can highlight it. I can also use the keyboard shortcut Control K to create a hyperlink, send it over to Outlook Supplement, to Contacts, to Eric, and click OK. Now that's fine. But a different way is to use what's called wiki linking inside of OneNote. So if you are starting to get good with OneNote, you'll recognize that every one of these pages has a title to it. In this case, Goodwin, Eric. Uh, in this case, Sales Meeting 8-29-2018. Or in this case, New Product Ideation. So let's say that I wanted to link to Eric Goodwin's uh, note about his contact. One way to do that would be, say, it's from and then do the following. Put in two square brackets. That's the key next to the P on the keyboard. By putting in two square brackets, you're telling OneNote, <clears throat> okay, we're about to insert a wiki link, and all I want you to do is within this notebook, I want you to look for Goodwin, comma, Eric and close the square brackets. And you see how it instantly snaps into a hyperlink right there? And I say, oh, I wonder if I click on this link, and just like that, yes, it takes me to the information about Eric Goodwin. Now on top of that, let's say that I make another tab, and this new tab is about company information. And I know that Eric Goodwin is from a company called GMX, and I store information about GMX, like where's their headquarters, it's at 123 Main Street, uh, their phone number is 212-400-4000, right? <clears throat> and their CEO is Bob Bobson, etc. Now, of course, if I've got a person like Eric Goodwin who's from GMX, stands to reason that I would want to be able to see all of Eric's information, all of GMX's information. So right here, again, using that wiki link idea, I can simply click in here, put in two square brackets, and then type in GMX. Close the two square brackets, and instantly OneNote detects that, yes, there is a page called GMX somewhere in this notebook. I can click on it, and I can go directly to the notes about GMX. Now, of course, if you have pages that have the same name, you're going to have issues here. But if you keep things relatively simple, 
by um, keeping the titles of the different pages clean. Let's say, for instance, in the future, I decide to make this Eric Goodwin dash GMX to make it more unique, uh, then I can be guaranteed that my links will work every single time. So creating a wiki hyperlink inside of OneNote is as easy as putting in two square brackets and then the name of whatever page you want people to go to. And so very easily, names like Goodwin, comma, Eric, and close the two square brackets creates a link back to Eric Goodwin's page.